Okay, so today I thought I would do a chat video. It's been a while since we've chatted. So I do have my furry little golden doodle at my feet because no video would be complete without the golden doodle. Uh, I'm not really going to go into detail. What I'm doing today is going to be focusing on my skincare and then I'm going to slap a little make makeup on my face. I have a couple of errands to run. Uh, I'll stop in between the skincare and the makeup to take the dogs out, maybe insert a little picture of them playing. I don't know. Anyway, there is a lot for me to share with you. So I'm going to get started on my skincare. I have uh, just taken a shower and I have nothing on my face. Now, normally I would put my skincare on immediately after getting out of the shower, but uh, it's been a probably about a half an hour since I've been out of the shower. So but I did want to let you know that normally I go right in with the skincare. I think damp skin is... Um, much more inviting of all of our skincare products. So um, again, you do not need to use what I use. You don't need to use as many steps as I use. I love my skincare. I have been treating my skin like this for years. Maybe I'll even come in close so you can see what my skin looks like because sometimes when we record under different lights, it kind of camouflages things. I, I want to let you know that for two days, starting today, which is Sunday the 24th, until tomorrow, the 25th of March, uh, you can get 25% off by using the code TAM25. I think it's TAM. I'll put it right here. I think it's Tammy25 or TAM25. She always does Tammy, I think. Yes. You know, when you get, when you, when you beg these companies for codes, you sometimes have so many you can't remember them yourself. So I think it's Tammy25. It'll be right here and it'll also be underneath the video. Uh, but on all qualifying skincare that I'm using from Freeze Coat Beauty, remember this is a small business, woman owned, so we like to take care of them. Yes, we do. All right, so I'm going to get started. On my lips is um, my lip balm, and this is from MD Air, and it's their peptide lip mask. I like to put a balm on while I'm doing my skincare, and then uh, when I go to do my makeup, I just dab it off a little bit. But on most days, I'm just wearing a balm, my friends. Yes, I am. All right, so I'll come in close so you can see my skin now. I have a little bit of a breakout here because I've been trying some products, more affordable products, and because I have extremely sensitive skin to uh, some ingredients, I'm willing to take one for the team though, my friends. Uh, I do uh, get a little bit of breakout. Today I'm going to be doing my skincare that I use all the time, but I think I'm going to do a video on if I were to use less expensive skincare, what would I use and recommend for all of you? So that video is coming. I'm still playing around with products. So uh, if you look at my skin, I do have a little bit of an issue right here. Sometimes I have a small amount of rosacea that will act up right here. I have darkness around my eyes. I have very strong veins that run on the side. If you'll notice my hair, my eyebrows are getting kind of bushy through here. And oh my, look at all the whites. But anyway, that is from the uh, new, la new brow that I use. Here I have a lovely little dot that refuses to do anything but fade. And then on the side of my face here, you can see I have a little bit of discoloration, age spots, um, that are just coming with age. And I'm noticing that underneath my eyes, I'm starting to get a little bit. There's some things that we just can't fight. It comes with age, but we can always do something to help prevent just a little. I am quite sure that if I didn't do all the skincare that I do, I might look like I'm 150 years old. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I have so much to share with you. Again, I am not going to say I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that. It will be, I'll insert a picture of what I'm using and then in the description box and also the first comment pin will be from me. So I do um, have a lot to share with you since we last chatted, um, my brother got married. My brother is 60 and his bride is 54 because I did post some pictures and people were like, oh, he's much older. No, he just got the curse of gray hair, very young. So he looks a little bit older, but he really isn't. He's 60, she's 54. It's a second marriage for both of them. And I could not be happier for my brother because the first time around, oh, she was wicked, 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 wicked. She was not 
she was not, she was a very, I think the meanest person I've ever met in my life. Anyway, um, that is over and done with. And, um, he met Cynthia, um, maybe two years ago. And on his 60th birthday, he took everyone on a cruise with him and he proposed to her. And he said that the, um, marriage probably wouldn't take place for a couple of years. Well, in her vows, she said, you said you would never, ever get married again. She said, how's that working for you? <laughs> he is so happy and it is just fabulous. So believe in second chances, my friends. Believe in second chances because uh, my brother is living proof that it can come along. It's all in the plan for you. You just have to wait for it and keep that heart wide open because if you shut down nobody's going to be able to get through and you might miss your opportunity. Anyway, he got married over in Boca. So we packed up the girls and all of our things and drove over and Lou and my brother, they golfed uh, on Friday morning and then Saturday morning they got married. It was so beautiful. It was kind of hot. It was an outside wedding. As I mentioned in a, uh, another video, it was a brunch wedding. They got married at 1030 in the morning and brunch followed. It was so nice. I loved it. It, it was perfect. It was over by two. There was no music because neither one of them liked to dance. Um, they did have uh, my sister kind of emceed a little bit and they gave the microphone to anybody that wanted to say something about the couple and a few people did including myself and um, it was just really really nice the brunch food was fabulous the waffles oh they were so so good they had whipped cream and berries oh it was so good and many people ask how do you uh, do it how do you uh, go to functions without gaining weight. Well, you you got to keep your mindset that you can't stop living life just because you, you know, want to lose weight. You have to just, I mean, I went and ate exactly what I wanted to eat. And um, I did not, I came back three pounds heavier, but we all know that fat is not gained overnight. It was all water weight. I'm right back to my, um, weight now and I was not going to not enjoy myself so I eat everything and anything that I love when I'm at a, a party or if we go out to eat now we don't go out to eat a lot but when I go out like we went out last night and I had chicken milanese which is deep fried in breadcrumbs and I had a salad with it and I had we were at a uh, Mediterranean restaurant so I also had some pita and I had about three slices of it. I loved it. It was very, very good. It just had a little bit of seasoning on top. It was really good. So anyway, that's how I do it. I'm not afraid to eat because I have such self-control now. And I even had desserts. I had wedding cake and they had a donut wall. They had pegs off the wall and donuts slid on. So you could go up and just take what you want. And they had... Um, old-fashioned donuts. They had all different types, but they had old-fashioned, which is like a cakey donut, which is what I prefer. And it had frosting on it. Ate the whole thing. My intention was to have a bite. It was so good. I ate the whole thing and said, tomorrow's a new day. So getting back to my brother's wedding, it was just, it was exceptional. They said their own vows. I was so impressed with my brother's vows. I didn't know he had it in him, but he did. And they were beautiful. He cried. And um, my brother is pretty, he's, he's not an emotional kind of guy. I've seen my brother cry twice in my life. And that was when my mother died and when he married Cynthia. And uh, his vows were about three minutes long. He covered absolutely everything. Her vows were beautiful. They had all of their children. She has three children. My brother has two. He has Ashley and he has Brendan. And they both were there. Jace was the ring bearer. And she has a daughter and two sons. Her son, one read uh, one of her favorite scriptures from the Bible. Uh, her daughter was her maid of honor. And her other son plays the violin. So he played the music during the ceremony. And it was just really beautiful. 
No one walked her down the aisle. She walked out of a, an area that was a little bit off and she walked out and my brother met her halfway. They kissed. I'm getting emotional, just reliving it. Um, they kissed and then they walked down the aisle together. I'm very happy for my brother, very, very happy. But it was just a beautiful, beautiful day. It gave me the opportunity to see my sisters and um, who I, you know, my sister, one sister lives mid-state and my other sister still lives back in New York. So um, it gave me the opportunity to see them. My niece was here from New York. She is my younger brother's daughter. She is like a daughter to me. And uh, it was just really a nice, nice day. The weather was nice. And I wore the uh, outfit that I showed you from White House Black Mar Market. And it was perfect. It was very comfortable. I'm glad that I didn't wear anything a little more weighted because it truly was warm it was pretty warm and we were all outside um but it was just a special special day and then we all went through the buffet and uh, took a lot of pictures i'll insert some as i'm talking about my brother's wedding so it was really really just a very very special day and at two o'clock everything was pretty much over uh, lou and i went back to my brother's house and we packed up the girls and my brother's very good about letting the girls come because he's a dog lover. Um, but anyway, we went, got the girls, and drove back. My niece came back with us, and she left from our place on Monday. So I got to spend a little extra time with her as well, which is nice. She's making a big change in her life. She lives in New York right now. She's recently divorced, and it's actually a very good thing for her. Um, but she has always wanted to live in South Carolina. And my niece is in, um, she counsels people uh, that have like um, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, all different types of things. And I think her relocating to uh, South Carolina, she's, she's going to allow her the opportunity to expand on those she treats. So um, she's very excited about that. She's a very adventurous soul. She's doing this all by herself. She will get in her car and drive from New York and drive to South Carolina just because she, she has always loved South Carolina, always. So uh, that's where she will be heading to. And uh, if it turns out that she doesn't really uh, like it there, that same company has places in Florida, so she can also relocate here. Um, just lots of things happening for her, and she's, she's young. She's just turning 30 in June, so lots of opportunities going on for her. My brother is now, they flew from Palm Beach, Florida, to New York, and then they flew to Rome. They stayed in Rome for two days, I believe, and then they boarded a Mediterranean cruise, which they are now on. But it's, and it's really funny because my brother sent me a picture. They stopped to get breakfast. I don't, I don't really know where. Uh, I think they, are, they were someplace in Italy. But they stopped to get a breakfast and they got a croissant and it's just stuffed and oozing with pistachio cream. And then they got a cappuccino, a tea, and the uh, croissant. He said, oh my goodness, so good and so cheap. Something like that in Florida would probably cost us $15, $20. It was $6 there. He could not believe it. He said, and it's so good. And I said, ooh. Be on the lookout for Nutella. I said, because they say that the Nutella in Italy is totally different th from the Nutella that we have here in the United States. He said, it is, and Nutella is on everything. So a couple of days later, they're now in, they were on, they're on the cruise line, and he sends me a picture of the gelato ice cream. So there's the gelato, they've got a Nutella sign sticking out of it, and Nutella swerved all over it. And I said, oh my goodness, it looks so good. I said, you're making this trip look so fabulous that I'm considering a Mediterranean cruise. I've always wanted to go to Italy and Spain and places like that. And um, my vertigo prevents me from really taking 
long cruises and I, I kind of get nervous before because I don't know about the motion and then I, I'm sick the whole time because I've been on a couple of other cruises but my brother said that the sea is less choppy and I don't know he could just be fibbing to me to get me on that boat anyway <clears throat> they're having a great time they sent a lot of uh, photos of the amazing architecture in Italy it is just phenomenal and um, he said uh, they're taking a ton, so I'll get to see a lot of pictures when he comes back. And it's a, quite a, a long cruise. Uh, he won't be back until the day before Easter. So because they usually come here for Easter, and he said, I don't think we're going to make it for Easter, Tim, because we're just getting back. And, you know, they might have jet lag or something like that. But anyway, um, that's it for my skincare. OK, so now I put my sunscreen on. And I want to allow that to set in. Now, I did use a moisturizer. With this sunscreen, the Pavis, you don't have to. It acts as your sunscreen. It also has a lot of anti-aging benefits in it. It's a really, really nice sunscreen. I'm hoping that it takes care of some of my issues here. Uh, this is my first bottle. I'll use a couple of bottles and then I'll know. But uh, so far, I like it. I've had no breakout or irritation from it. Even when I start to sweat, I don't uh, notice my eyes burning or anything like that. So that's a bonus for me, that it's not breaking me out, itching my skin like crazy, because so many sunscreens do. And the beautiful glow you get with it, if you're someone that doesn't like to wear any makeup and you just want to throw on a lip balm at this point, I mean, look at the glow you get. A glow means youthful, my friends. Don't try to get rid of all that glow. I know people with oily skin, they try to make that oil just disappear. But sometimes that is the look of youth, my friends. All right, so I'm gonna take my girls out. Maybe I'll take the camera out with me, give you a little bit of footage of my girls playing, and then I'll be back just to throw some makeup on because I do like to let my sunscreen sit and settle before I slap anything on it because I don't wanna get any rolling or pilling, and that seems to work for me. Okay, so I'll be right back. Come on, Lula. Yesterday, it rained all day long. All day. These poor dogs were inside all day until they had to go out to potty, and then I put the raincoats on them. Come on, Lula. She's over there. There's a bunny that lives over there, and Lula, mm, she's my hunter. But anyway, today, finally, they're able to come outside. I like to bring them outside at least every 45 minutes. I would never let them come outside and just be by themselves. For one, they don't know how to uh, swim. They, neither one of them like the water. They will get in it to it just up to their paws. But if they fall in, they sink and, you know, we, rush to get them out but um, we never leave them out here by themselves because I know doodles are supposed to be swimmers they're not they're very uneventful this morning but I know some of you just love seeing them Harley 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 this is bunny season for them and they just go nuts Lula what are you doing Lula huh my next big project is to um, do the patio. Um, I've not yet found what I like. I know, I don't want anything fancy schmancy. I want it to be comfortable, but um, you know, I was waiting for the sun to ruin all of our chairs, which it has. If you sit on the chairs too hard, <laughs> your butt will go through it. And that's the only one we have left. So um, that is my, um, next project to get the outside um, looking purdy. And then we have a ledge up there uh, that I really, I would love to put a large, large umbrella up there because then I could allow the girls to go outside up there and they could play to their heart's content and they would be safe. But now they can't because that gets blistering hot. Um, on their paws. It also gets very hot in the uh, summer, so I'm going to look for an umbrella that maybe covers this whole area. All right, well, my girls are uneventful today, my friends, so I am going to shut the camera off, and then I will be back with a quick application of my makeup, and then I have some 
errands okay, to run. So I am just going to put a little bit of makeup on because I have some errands to run. So I'm just starting out with my primer like I always do. Again, everything will be listed and linked below for you. A lot of people have asked me how the doodles travel. You know, a lot of people have asked me they want to get a doodle. And maybe I should do a whole video uh, dedicated to that. But doodles are a lot of work. They're a lot of money. Uh, they're not a dog to get if you uh, are not home with them. They are definitely not a dog to get if you have no interest in grooming them. Grooming is very expensive unless you know how to do it yourself. And then it's still time consuming. Uh, it takes me hours to groom them. And if I groom them uh, professionally, because I'm no expert, um, if I groom them, it's about where we are right now, it was $160 per dog. So that is a big chunk of money. Um, I always tell Lou, look how much money I save you by grooming them dogs. <laughs> I kill my back, but I'm going to groom them myself. <laughs> I don't groom them for that reason myself. I groom them because I have not had luck down here finding a groomer. I'm looking in my big mirror just so you, uh, you don't feel like I'm ignoring you now. But um, I don't groom them here because I've tried three groomers and they came home traumatized. I mean, I don't know what they do here, but um, they definitely do not listen. Well, the ones that I've encountered, they do not listen to what you want, um, but they have come home with razor burns on their butt, on their chest, everywhere. And uh, at one, the last groomer, they came home with blood dripping out of their ears. I mean, running, not, it wasn't like a faucet or anything like that. But they had plucked their ear hairs so hard that they were still bleeding when I picked them up. So I said, that's it. I'm a cosmetologist. How hard can it be? I watched a couple of videos and my doodles look kind of cute when I'm done with them. So I really uh, just do it myself. But they are expensive. But they do travel. Mine. They do travel well. My brother loves them. They uh, drive with Lou and my brother from New York to Florida in the spring and then again late summer. So, um, and Lou says they are excellent uh, when he has them in the truck. They are, the only thing is, is Lula won't eat. She doesn't eat until they get to the hotel because they stop in North Carolina and they stay overnight there. But um, they, um, they love traveling. They love being in the car. So they travel really well. And doodles are a good dog. You do have to work with them constantly. You can't just let them run them up because they will destroy everything you love. <laughs> everything. Uh, we are lucky. They destroy nothing in the house. Nothing. Harley is a little bit on the wild side. And like when she gets out of the bath, which I do in about a, a a bathroom upstairs because it's pretty it's a good size and it's easy to get in and out of um, she will she thinks she's a cat when she gets out so she tries to rub up against the wall and she's all wet but uh, other than that you know you just you really have to be dedicated to them so don't get a doodle if you are not the type of person that can do that it's not the dog for you and I'm a firm believer that some people just are not meant to be dog owners they just are not um, but that's just my beliefs. Today, I am headed to Lowe's. We need some chlorine tablets for our fountain. And um, I need I need to replace my white sneakers. And I love, my most favorite sneakers are the Ghost by Brooks. But I need them in a wide. And um, they must be very popular because they just never have any. I go to stores that carry them locally. I look online and nobody has had the white um, in wide. So my brother got a pair of those on sneakers and he swears by them. He said they are so comfortable. He said I bought them in two other colors. Um, and he said, give them a try. And he said that Costco was carrying them now for $100. But 
I uh, looked on, I went in my Costco and they didn't have them. And then I'm sure they'll have them online, but I want to be able to try them on and all that kind of stuff. So I'm on the hunt today for uh, sneakers. So uh, that's what I'm heading out to do today. And I need to get some hot sauce because I'm making chicken wings tonight in the air fryer for Louie. I don't like chicken wings anymore. I don't know why. They just gross me right out. <laughs> And I only like the flats anyway, but I am, I'm trying a new powder today. This is from Fit Glove Beauty. I've not used it, but I heard good things about it. So I thought, let me give it a try. Goes on nice. It's very, very soft and very, very refined. Let's give it a go. Let me try the sponge. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pack this. I want to try this out underneath my eyes because... It is so finely milled. It's This is the container, but it's really finely milled. So I'm going to take the sponge. First, I'm going to touch underneath to make sure I don't have any creases in the corrector or concealer that I put on, which I do, I can see. And then I'm going to just take the sponge, pick it up, and I'm going to tap it on. So if you're out and about today and you should see me and I look a little cakey underneath the eyes, because this didn't work. Or if you see me and I'm looking flawless, it works. We'll see. Right now, it looks like it's going on beautifully. It really is. And notice I tap underneath. I don't pull because I have wrinkles underneath my eyes. And if I pull, I'm going to fold that crease like so. And that's where the powder is going to go. So I just tap. And we can also just lightly... And then we get in every little nook and cranny, just like the English muffin. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks really nice. It doesn't look bad at all. It's very, very soft. And it took away the tackiness on my face, which is very important because if you're going to put any more powder underneath, you want to make sure that it's not going to skip and jump all over the place because you have moisture, dry moisture. So, all right. So, <clears throat> what, I don't know. Are you the same as me? I don't really, um, I mean, I know it seems like I'm putting a lot of makeup on, but I really don't like to wear a lot out and about. I mean, I'm just using a little bit of bronzer here. And that's just to lift the cheeks up and give me a little bit of color. I go right over the brow bone with it, right up to my forehead. And then I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Same thing on this side and go right up. And then I don't even have to put eyeshadow on because I'm just, the bronzer, you can see, really just adds a little bit of life to it. And then I'm just going to lift it up even higher on the cheek here. And if this is too big, you can just take it on the side like this. And then you can tap it right where you want it. And you're just giving a nice lift. And then you can go over your eye again. And, and you see, I look like I have eyeshadow on and I have my bronzer on. And then I just go over lightly with my powder brush to make sure that it's blended well. I have two from Hourglass that I could actually use. I'm going to go ahead and use this one because I do want to put just a little bit of shimmer on me. Just a little bit. And I really like this brush from Nikki... La Rose, it's the N17. It's nice, it's two-sided. I like this side for picking up stuff like this because it's not, it doesn't pick up as much. It's really, it's beautiful. But I really like this. And this is, um, then I'll just go like so. And I put a little bit of highlight on my cheek there. You see that? And I'll do the same thing on this side. But then I'm going to buff it out. I'm going to turn the brush over and I'm going to buff because I don't want to have a bunch of glitter on me. But I want just enough that gives me just a little bit of glow. And you see, that's just a little bit of glow. Adds a little bit of youth back into the face. Now, this does have a little bit of glitter to it, but it's really so refined and minimal that it really, I don't think it really creates any issues with the lines that I might have around. So um, just a little trip, just a little tip for you. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera, but this is for my eyebrows. My eyebrows, soon they're going to be all white. And I have said this before, I love my white hair, but I do not like 
white eyebrows. Speaking of white hair, let's go back to the wedding for a minute. I um, was in the food line, and I have to tell you, and I'm, I'm sharing this because so many women, I, I think as women, we get tied up with living our lives for what other women are going to think about us. That I, I, That's not even here on my head. I, do, I just, I can't do that. It's, you know, like I have, my arms have this loose skin around. I, I mean, even on, now I'm not wanna come on YouTube and show my belly, but I want you to see something. Even through here, I have this loose skin right here. Um, I'm not gonna, I mean, I don't wear a bikini or anything, but I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not embarrassed in front of Lou with it or anything like that. And, you know, I wear sleeveless every single day. I'm in Florida, it's so hot. Um, this loose skin, it's just part of life and I just don't care. So I, I'm i gonna beg all of you women, just let it go. Let it go. Don't think about what someone else is gonna think. I mean, maybe you're giving up wearing tops you love because your arms aren't muscular or you've got a lot of loose, sagging skin. I mean, I've got this. I don't care, okay? So anyway, um, my hair. This is the reason why I'm sharing this because I know a lot of women would love to do this, but they think it's brave. Um, it's not. It's, it's only brave, I think, if you allow someone else to um, tell you how you should be wearing your hair and then you step outside of the box and you do what you want. Anyway, that's brave. I cannot tell you how many compliments I got on my hair. Now, it started out down and then I put it up, but it's amazing. Men and women, not just men, not just women, both. I mean, people, a part of that wedding party, while I'm standing in the line, they come up and there was two women behind me and I turned around and she said, your hair, oh my goodness, the color is so gorgeous. So believe me, you are not going to walk out into the world having people tell you how terrible you look because you decided to just let your white hair run free. Uh, best thing I ever did. Best thing I ever did for me. And that is all that matters, my friends. That is it. Now I'm going to put a little liner on and stab myself in the eye a couple of times. Very hard to do this single-handed. But you can see the difference it just makes. You know, it gives a little bit of depth. And I like to go right to the corner and all the way. And I'm going on the corner. It's all the inner. It's underneath the lashes. And I just go with a quick swipe. And if I do this, I can do it even better. Let me get here without popping my contact out. But you see, it just really, it brings, it, you know, you don't have to wear a lot of makeup. It just brings the, the eyes to life. And if you have a sharp pencil, you can just lay it right on that inner line, the water line on the top, the wet part and just run it across and it's perfect and I'm just throwing a little bit of mascara on I don't bother with the lower lashes I'm not putting any eyeshadow on nothing like that because I threw that bronzer on and I am going to head out I'm already starting to sweat because well it's warm in this bathroom it's weird this house is a very long house and it it's a larger home, um, not as large as the one we had in New York, but it's still a little bit bigger, but it's very long. So where you see that door, that is the master suite. So that's a bathroom back there and our bedroom. And this is the bathroom off of this bedroom that's here. And then we have Lou's den here. But for some reason, the airflow is, is limited here. We've had them come and check and they say it just happens and we have three units on the house. We don't have just one unit, we have three units and this can, one controls, you know, a certain area and the other one controls. But the vents are so long and this is the back, I guess they call it. And that's why the airflow. Well, for a menopausal woman, nobody else complains about it but me. <laughs> for a menopausal woman, I want that air pool kicking. I could never sleep in this bedroom. I would be dying, just dying. Uh, it's bad enough that I have it set at 69 when we go to bed at night. I have the fan above us on 
And I have uh, Sleep and Glow has this um, cooling comforter that they sent me a, a long time ago and uh, I've been using it. I just never mentioned it and I don't have any deal or anything like that. They don't, they don't know I'm talking about it or anything like that. But it does seem to help because I'm also the type of person that I need to sleep with weight on me or I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I need to have the weight of blankets on me. And you know, this, this comforter, I, it, it has like vents in it. it. It's made a little bit of a difference, but uh, that's not to say that it stopped my night sweats because it hasn't. I still get night sweats. It's the only symptom of menopause that I still get. And it's uh, night sweats. I get nothing else. I don't have any other symptoms. They are gone. Um, I do get some headaches every now and then that I never used to get, but I think that's more allergy and sinus. But, um, and I'll have my doctor check that all out when I go back to Buffalo. But, um, you know, the night sweats and like right now, and it's always right there. Don't touch that ladies. When you just did your makeup, don't touch it. Just get out your handy dandy little fan and fan that until it's dry. And while I'm at it, because I want to take away any powder look that might be on my skin, I just go in. with the Morphe spray and I really do and I, I'm careful with my eyelashes now and then I just take my fan and I let it all dry and that takes away that powder look I'm using a new powder so I really uh, with contacts I can't really tell and I don't have my tent on mirror here um, downstairs with me but if I did I'd be able to look at it to see if I felt powdery or not but if there was anything powdery looking to it it will be gone with this spray and it all looks pretty darn good and I just need to do my lips. All right, we're doing our lips. Okay, lips are done. I like to go with a bolder lip with the white hair. Now my hair, I like to pull little pieces down. I just do this and I like to give it a little messiness. I just pull down any loose pieces and I'll loosen this up just slightly and bring down any little wispies that are there. I think it just adds a little sassiness. And then I'm gonna put on some earrings and I'm wearing kind of like, oh, I'm wearing those cargo pants that I shared with you and this is in the tan color. And then my top is one of those Target tops and it's kind of tan and uh, cream. So I'm gonna put on a pair of Dean Davidson hoops and they are gold. I am looking better in silver these days, but I still love the Dean Davidson. And these are the smaller hoops. And something new that Dean has are the mini birthstone studs. And mine are in topaz because that is, I'm a November baby. But what I really like about them is they are the mini. Dean Davidson studs are my most favorite. This is what it looks like. And this is what I love about them, how nice they are for stacking, because I have two holes here. I love to stack them. So I am going to wear the, they're so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. And with Dean Davidson on your first purchase with them, you can get 15% off by using the code Tammy. Uh, 15. I got to find the third hole. Hang on. There she be. Um, I really uh, just, I love these. They're just tiny little things and I love them. Look how cute they look. Especially if you're wearing your hair up. They just look really cute. I did this so many years ago. I was probably, I was a teenager, I think, when I did this. I don't know. Okay, so that is it for today. This is my little top. And then, of course, my little cargo pants that I'm wearing. Um, these will be listed and linked below for you as well. I did just do a spring fashion haul, and uh, these are modeled full in the video. So if you really want to see what they look like, I'll link that video below, and you can go over and check that out. And that is it for today. If I run into any trouble or anything that I think I need to share with you, I will be back. But if not... If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Right next to it is the bell. It notifies you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Remember, for the skincare, you can get 
25% off participating brands on Freeze Co. Beauty today and tomorrow, which is Monday, end of day. So I'll put all that information below for you. And that is it, my friends. I'll let you get out of here, go out in the world, be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love our age. I want you all to really, really absorb that and remember, we are relevant, we matter, and aging is a beautiful blessing, my friends, a beautiful blessing. I love you all. Bisous. Joy, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs>